Hey guys, I want to show you how to model a table in next video. Uh, I'll show you how to model chairs. So what we want to do is we want to scale this cube out to a tabletop. Uh, we can do that by clicking this button here. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Scale manipulator mode. Okay. And you can see these cubes pop up. Just pressing on these cubes and scaling down gives you the same effect result as if you were scaling it with uh, using the S button. Alright, so I think that's a good tabletop. It's just going to be basic, nothing fancy. Just a little bit more. Okay. Now we want to hit G and Z so we can grab it up top so we can put our legs underneath. So now you just hit spacebar and type in cube. And that will give you the same effect as if you were adding it. So now we just want to scale this one too. To a uh, leg. Alright, awesome. Just as thin as you want it to be. Depending on what you're modeling it for. So now let's just make that bigger. And now let's hit control 7. And let's hit G. This is X. And just move it along the X axis. And G, Y, and move it down. So now if we go to tap 1, now we can just move it up hitting G Z so move it up the Z axis let's hit control 7 again so we can uh, have this point right here where it meets the ends of the table uh, make it better so let's hit G and let's just move it just how we want it awesome let's hit 1 alright if you want it longer than that if you want it shorter than that that's up to you I'm just going to scale it in a little more well not that way Sh control Z Oh. Alright, so now uh, control 7, and we just want to shift D to duplicate, and hit Y, so we can duplicate and just move it up, shift D, and hit X, shift D, and hit Y again. Now you just want to uh, zoom in on all these points, just so you can... A position, position them better. So I'm just hitting G and grabbing it. As you can see here, I'm off right here a little. I don't know. I'm a perfectionist, kind of, maybe. I don't know. So um, you just want to do that for all four of your legs. That one's good. <clears throat> so now what we want to do is we want to taper the legs. So let's just hit one and we'll start with this one hit tab for object for edit mode hit A to deselect and where my mouse is down here it's the limit selection to visible if we click that we can see all the vertices and that's what we want because when we hit B to box select we want to get all the vertices now hit S to scale and type in 0.5 that way we can scale it a uniform length with all our legs so I'm just hitting, I just hit tab and right clicked it hit tab again a to deselect, B to box it, S for scale, and 0.5. So that's, that's just what you want to do. Just tabbed out, tab back in, A to deselect, B for box tool, S for scale, and 0.5. Alright, let's do that one more time. Awesome, so now let's tab out of edit mode. <clears throat> and let's see how what it looks like. Alright, so I'm happy with the result. I just think the tabletop's a little thick, but we can easily fix that. Alright, so now what we want to do is we want to join the table and the legs so that whenever you move it, <laughs> you don't leave the legs behind. So just right click on all your objects, your legs and your table and over under object tools hit join so now if you hit G everything comes with you and that's how you model a table alright thanks for watching check out my next video for modeling chairs